You are watching a master at work. Good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you are watching this. This is Sam Prentice Makes Things Happen. I'm Sam Prentice back once again making it happen. And today we're looking at the Creality CR Falcon. It's a laser engraver that the Creality have just come out with. And you get a pair of these cool glasses with it as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's get straight on into this. Here we go. The Creality CR Falcon is the latest laser product from Shenzhen-based giant Creality. Known mainly for their vast range of 3D printers, it would seem that Creality as of late have branched out into a variety of various projects, which include file hosting, laser engraving, scanning, add-on screens, and their version of the BL Touch. So let's talk about the CR Falcon. This unit uses a class four laser, and it's important to understand some of the precautionary measures as this laser can burn skin or cause devastating and permanent eye damage as a result of direct, diffuse, or indirect beam viewing. Luckily, Creality have thought about this, and the red shield around the laser minimizes light leakage, and the green glasses provided should also be worn while the laser is in use. So what Creality have sent me is a diode laser. It's a five watt version, but you can also upgrade this to the 10 watt version on their website. Incidentally, the CR laser does come in at a reasonable price of $349 and currently has a $30 off voucher using the code LASER. The 10 watt version comes in at $429, but do keep an eye out for sales as well. So the point of sale with this equipment seems to be around the 0.1 millimeter high precision cutting and engraving, quick focusing, accurate positioning, smoke and dust filtering, and multiple support materials etching and cutting. The unboxing process was super easy, which is really why I shot this as a short at the start of the video, as it doesn't take much to put a square of metal extrusion together and whip the belts on. I did really like how they added the grub screws to the T-nuts in order to keep the tension on the belt. It's a great idea and I might use that for something else down the line. Needless to say, we are talking about just controlling the X and Y axis on this machine. We have two stepper motors and a couple of limit switches that cable back to the metal module. This module is the interface between your computer and the laser. The box is a bit of a beeping nightmare when you switch it on or upgrade the firmware, and I'll come onto that a little bit later on. This unit uses a USB-C cable and an external 24 volt PSU. Also on the side, there is an SD card slot. There is a power button on the left-hand side, and the module also has a silver power button on the very front because I'm sure you can't have enough power switches and the silver one does have various modes that you can set into but I won't be going through that on this video. So unfortunately for me, the SD card that was supplied was actually blank so I contacted Creality to ask for the software. I'll also update this onto my share drive should you wish to download it yourself if you cannot find it on the Creality website. This held some code files and various software elements one of the big issues that I had was actually integrating with the software Lightburn, as I had missed that there was an issue with the previous firmware where the CR Laser shows as busy. Luckily, Carl Fenton on the CR Laser Falcon Owners Group, uh, which was at the time 25 members strong, managed to assist me with this and we flashed the firmware. So thank you very much, Carl. Following on from that small problem, most things on the laser side had been pretty straightforward. And depending on the software that you choose, it'll be a learning experience on how to control the percentages used by the laser. I tested this on both my Mac and a Windows PC and the software seemed pretty adaptable and user friendly. So let's be fair, the 400 by 415 build volume does lend itself to some pretty awesome sized projects. And what I will say is, although I have had a couple of issues with the SD card and the firmware, and actually there were no material, although there should have been in the box, there was no material sent out to me at all. So I went onto Amazon and I bought some of this. And this is just basic, very, very thin wood, about two mil wood. And I have been cutting stuff out. In fact, I've been cutting and cutting and cutting, creating some really cool things, including this little, uh, 
laser etch monkey here, which I thought was pretty cool. But while I was doing that, it did uh, actually cut through uh, two of these and it went on to my desk here. And uh, there's a TikTok video that I put, up, put out about that. These things, again, are pretty damn dangerous. So you make sure that you are using all the precautionary measures that you can. And I certainly would suggest that if you can get one of those bases, one of the metal bases, you definitely do that as well. Again, I was just messing around with stuff, but don't leave this thing unattended at any point um, because you know that laser will cause a fire if you are not extremely careful with it. The other thing is, is when I've been cutting this and I've been coming back into the room, you can really, really smell the kind of burning. And uh, I can't imagine that's gonna be good for anybody. So make sure you're using a well-ventilated area and uh, just use the necessary precautions. The other thing I didn't really agree with, and certainly in their marketing, they said that you can use this without wearing any goggles because the protection is actually in that little red uh, laser cover. I would wholeheartedly 100% disagree with that statement and accidents can happen and I'd hate to think somebody bought one of these and uh, you know they ended up with some sort of severe eye, eye trauma. So just make sure you are wearing your goggles at all time. If you don't even like these goggles and you wanna try a different pair of goggles, um, I don't see that there's any kind of uh, reference numbers or anything like that to show that they are any particular um, range or tint or anything like that. So, um, you know, I think these will probably do okay, but if you're gonna be doing this over a longer, exp longer period of time, um, I probably would suggest that uh, you, you buy something probably a little bit more suitable for the uh, requirements. I have had a few headaches and things like that since it, I've been sitting literally with this thing in front of me. Um, so if you do start experiencing anything like that, just be super, super careful with it. So what have I actually been laser engraving? Well, I did my logo, which took about three hours at 20%. I did this. This is not a coaster, coaster, uh, which took about 20 minutes. So in addition to that, I did also burn a logo and then I burnt this circle. And as I already previously mentioned, I did manage to uh, cut a hole through uh, a couple of these parts as well. The little monkey that I've been working on, which I quite like, uh, there was a kind of a uh, lion thing that I started messing around with. But as you can see from here, you know, if you're building puzzles, if you're um, wanting to create something weird, um, birthday presents, you know, labels, tags, stuff for Christmas. I think that's generally kind of what I would end up using this for. Um, I'm going to try and do some stuff that's a little bit more out there and um, see what we can kind of come up with uh, in the coming uh, in the coming days. So if you head over to my Instagram, which is instagram.com forward slash the real Sam Prentice, I'll uh, be sure to be updating stuff there. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm kind of impressed with this. Uh, Creality, you've done quite a good job on that and um, I'd certainly recommend it if you're in the uh, market for a laser and of course once again I've got no bearing I've never owned a laser before but this one's been pretty easy to set up um, all right a bit of hand holding from uh, the guys on the forum and stuff but um, other than that it's been pretty straightforward the key is very much about um, speed and accuracy and also making sure the laser isn't burning too hard or too heavy uh, on that kind of overall percentage so testing things um, Setting up the position of what you're going to be cutting, you can hit a button and it will frame where it's going to go. But if you want something in the center of um, a particular point, you might want to look at some sort of grid reference or something along those lines. But um, head over to Tripod's Garage. Uh, he's got a ton of stuff about lasers. Uh, and again, I'll put some links in the description and where else you can find some stuff if you're looking to try and uh, possibly buy one of these. Um, I've got a link. There's an affiliate link for the Creality website if you want to go and have a look at that as well. Um, but yeah, let me know your um, your ideas. If you want me to try something, if you want to borrow this and you're in the UK, I'm very open to people trying it before they buy it. So um, if you want to get if you want to get involved with that, please get in touch. And um, yeah, hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We'll see you soon. Over and out. Bye for now.